You can use the intro, Vic. What do you want to do? Hi! Really big welcome <laughs> to our Facebook Live Superfasters. We are here with the awesome, gorgeous, beautiful Shelley Horton. That'd be me. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be here. Oh, we're so excited to have you. Shelley is so much fun and we are going mm -hmm. to have the best time talking to you about all things intermittent fasting plus lots of other fun stuff, aren't we, Jen? We are. And you thought that this was Charlie's Angels, didn't you? Oh, uh, yeah. How's that? <laughs> you <laughs> like just, it? You're just saying a blonde, a redhead and a, a brunette, brunette went into a bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will be after. But you know what? We also wouldn't <laughs> leave that bar. <laughs> we would just stay in the bar. For yeah. sure. That's exactly right. Well, so intermittent we... fasting, you can. You can. Of course you can. We'll now, I want to know that you're actually watching, so make sure you give me a wave or a dancing emoji or perhaps just say hi, because we want to be able to interact with you guys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, hit the like, the love, the happy face. Hello. I'm here. <laughs> hey there. And we're going to start with telling you Shelley's story, because you will be flabbergasted. <laughs> So, Shelley, tell us about your weight loss story. Yeah, Ooh. so I have struggled with my weight my entire life. It's just been one of those battles that I didn't think I'd ever get a hold of. And I would pretty much, you know, got to the stage where I was giving up. I was considered obese, which really upset me. I was, I was not even in the overweight range. Um, and I got quite desperate. And I actually... Um, was so desperate I had lap banding surgery mm. uh, thinking that that would be the fix for me and in fact it did not work at all mm. and it was horrible and I vomited and in the I think I had the band for nine months to a year and I only lost like three or four kilos in that entire time oh, um, all that so I kind of felt so much shame like I nothing was going to work for me and then it was through my psychologist, Dr. Happy, who's also the super fast diet psychologist. We love Dr. Um, Happy. And he's been really good with me and has really helped uh, me get my mind in the right place. And he said that he'd signed on to be part of super fast diet and that maybe I should give it a go. And I was really scared. I remember having a meeting with you guys and I'm like, <laughs> I may not be able to do this. It yeah. may not work for me. Things yeah. don't work for me. Yeah. Um, and so I agreed to trial it for a month and in that first month, I, I think I lost five kilos yeah, or something like I, a substantial amount. And on other diets, I had maybe would lose 200 grams or oh, we've got Belinda, Megan, Catherine and Katrina. Hello, Hi. Guys. Hi. Nice to see you. I'm going to keep talking, but I'll keep waving and saying hello as we go through. <laughs> um, thanks for joining us. So anyway, I could not believe that this actually worked for me and it yeah. has continued to work. So I have been doing super fast diet now for over a year, mm -hmm. a bit, bit more than a year. Mm. And I'm very proud to say I've now lost 15 kilos. Yay. 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 That is awesome. And she looks amazing, I can I tell am you. seriously <laughs> proud of myself. So you should And be. also proud of myself because I've stuck with it. And normally yes. I will diet and then fall off the wagon and then you know the weight just comes back on but I have now so I would say that my base loss is about 13 kilos because yeah. I've been sitting at that for a long time now but I have the Logies on Sunday Ooh. how exciting so I'm gonna be on the red carpet for nine now doing all Amazing. of the red carpet commentary and so I have gone pretty hard this last two weeks and that's how I've knocked off that extra two but even knowing that I can do that is Absolutely. amazing and knowing that I can actually trust my body and that it will react and I think that's yeah. something that has been incredible for me well yeah. I can't wait yeah. to see you in that dress I know Catherine Kalubra is designing my dress Ooh. and um yeah it's gonna be fun let's just say what color Oh, you want to yeah, no, no, no. You know what? We'll deep green. <gasps> Think about oh, this red yeah. and deep green. Oh wow! And uh, 1940s finger wave oh, curls. Oh, gorgeous! Va va voom! I'll be va, tits va, and teeth. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. Hi, Carol. Hi, Hi Julie. Carol. Hi, Julie. Pam. Thanks Hi. for joining Hi, us. Pop on. Uh, I'm here. Yeah. Hey. Ask questions. We've got now Shelley here to answer Yeah, you can ask questions. any question you want. Anything. We're so lucky. And Shelley means 
I mean anything. anything. I don't anything. really have she a filter. She will tell you anything. <laughs> no hold barred, literally. Oh, Julie. so we've got Julie. Hi, lady. Yeah. Shelly, you're such Hi. an inspiration to me. Yay. Julie! Hi, Julie. I just want to give you a big hug through here. <laughs> Yay. Can I just Aww. say, guys, how much I love the Superfast Diet Facebook group. Oh, it yeah. is a constant source of positivity. Everyone supports each other. There are so many great tips and tricks that yeah. everyone shares because it's one of those things, as soon as you learn something new, you want to tell everyone else so they can do it as well. And I really love that we've got this little safe space mm. because weight loss is hard. Weight loss is sure. emotional. Weight loss has so many other factors and you've got to get your mind right. And I find that every time I go onto the Super Fast Diet Facebook group, I come away smiling. Oh, it's that's true. Awesome. That's it's lovely. true. It's really nice. Fantastic. We wake up with messages too. They actually tag us. I know they tag you as Yeah, they well. tag me. Yeah. <laughs> Saying, you've changed my life. Yeah, wow. Well, um, I said that to you guys like yeah. last year when I was just like, this is actually working. It's so We've got some more people. Leonie, Hi, Tracy, Christine. Hi, Hi. Tracy. Hi, Christine. Nice to see you. We've got a question Ooh, too. This from Carol. Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi girls, I'm amazed. I fasted lunchtime today and did really well and didn't die. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you didn't die, darling. Go you, Carol. I felt great. A tiny headache. That's quite common when yeah. you're starting out. Now, but much easier than I thought. Soup and veg for dinner. Yay. Yay. I Thanks, actually Carol. really Do like remember? doing the fasting in winter because you can have yeah. those amazing soups. Yeah. Um, so I got headaches pr probably the first three or four weeks. Okay. Yeah. And it, I think it was my sugar addiction. Oh. Which is still there a bit, but yeah. I think it was that. And also because I'd never tried fasting before and I was sure. so scared of it mm. because I have basically lived my whole life that when I'm hungry, I eat. Yeah. yeah. That's what you do, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's never ever any going without when it comes to me. Yeah. And the thing that I loved about Superfast Diet is actually learning what true hunger is mm. because I found that I was eating because I was bored. Because I was sad, because I was happy, because I was watching TV, like just not being aware of why I was eating. And mm. this has made me really aware. And also to go, it's okay to be a bit hungry. Yeah. And knowing that I can eat more the next day. Yeah. So it's all right. And you're not going to die, right? Because yeah. you've got a hunger. Ex pain. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to die. That <laughs> hunger only lasts for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Dr. Penny yeah, says last Dr. night. It's like a wave. Yeah. I, mm. I actually mm. describe it to friends when they say, you know, how do you do it? You know, it must be so hard. I'm mm. like, I gave up smoking three years ago. And I found then that those cravings last about 10 minutes as well. Mm. So it's uh -huh. very similar. If you have a glass of water, I used to like go and walk the dog. If I was really craving something, yeah. that's what I would do. So yeah. Great advice. Artist yeah. Distraction. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. So what are your favourite fast day foods? Okay, so I'm a muster, a fuster <laughs> now that I've been doing this for a year. So I've got to let people know, maybe don't follow what I do now. Maybe wait till you've progressed. Yep, yep. When I started, my fast days were so regimented. Mm -hmm. It was like military precision. <laughs> I had everything measured out, everything prepared, and it was very much, I ate the same thing every single fast day. And that worked really well for me to lose the bulk of the weight. Mm. And now that I'm kind of maintaining and, and sticking around the same level, I've changed now. I'm really, really busy. Sure. And so what I do is I have now been using Dietlicious, the home delivery food company. Mm. And I know you guys, you know, work yeah, hand in hand with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like And um, what I now tend to do is... I'm really trying just to not have breakfast ever. Mm. It's just, I'm just trying to get my brain into just not having it. And I now on my fast days have two meals only. Mm. And I find that that works for me. It also for me, I, it's a bit more substantial. Yeah. So I quite like having a bit more substantial lunch and a bit more substantial dinner rather than having lots of snacks throughout the day. People are different. Sure. Yeah. I think when I started, I needed snacks because I was mm. panicked about it all. Yeah. And it's different when you start, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes. So Carol asked, what do I do exactly? So mm. I really want you to know that it has... Yeah, hi, Carol. <laughs> it's changed. So Carol, write back and tell me, have you just started or have you been doing it for, you know, six months? Because if you've just started, I really recommend that you are really strict and pre-plan everything. Yeah, that's yeah. a secret. I just pre think it yes. means that you're not going, 
what am I going to eat? Or mm. you get to that stage where you're hungry and so you're just like, I'm just going to eat mm. just gonna whatever's eat what's there. there. Yeah. So what was your regimented fast day food? So when I started, I would try and push it till like 11 o'clock or so and then I'd have a boiled egg. Right. That, so that was like every single fast day. Then at lunchtime, I'd have a Dairy K pumpkin soup with yes. some of the Slendian noodles and maybe a handful of fresh spinach leaves Beautiful. and lots of salt and pepper and chili. Because mm. I think you, the mm. thing when you're fasting is I think you need to make mm. sure you're getting flavor. And then in the afternoon, I'd have like um, one or two corn thins with some tomato on it yep. and, and maybe some Vegemite underneath. But again, mm. if I just wanted that flavor. And then dinner, it was always like a prawn stir fry. Perfect. Which sometimes I stewed it and it was not that delicious, but I was not going to, you know, not eat it because I was starving. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was very regimented. Here's the thing. I can't face another Dairy K pumpkin soup. <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't had one this winter either. I can't. Yeah. I think you just end up just going, I saw, it's like my Nam flashback. It's like Dairy K pumpkin soup. Um <laughs> What I've done now to make it a bit different is they've got these amazing new soups in the pre-made section at Woolies. I think it's Woolies and Coles. Yeah. Um, now, I don't know how to say it. It's a Vietnamese soup. It looks like it says P-H-O, so I call it pho, but apparently it's pho, pho, <laughs> pho, pho, which okay. when I go pho, it's like pho, you. It's everything it's <laughs> good. It's, it's, it's everything good. Good. Yeah. Um, and so what... They're only like 132 calories. Mm. It's incredible. My tip for that, though, is to even make them less. It's just they have a little packet of rice noodles in them. Uh Just throw that away. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need it. Perfect idea. So that way you have your veggies. There's a little bit of beef. Mm. There's also a Tom Yum soup as well Mm. that has a chicken Mm. flavor. And it's just, again, it's about getting that flavor Bit of variety. Yeah. Yeah. There's a question here from Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. I keep reading all the Facebook posts, but she hasn't right. started yet. Mm. How did you get yourself in the right mindset to start, Shelley? Um, it was a bit of bad news. And I think that this happens mm. to a lot of people. You need mm. a trigger. And mm. mine was that I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Mm-hmm. And I cried in the car the oh. whole way home. And my mum's mm. type 2 diabetic and my grandfather was diabetic. And I'd been pre-diabetic for mm. a very long time. So it wasn't like it was a shock, but it still was such a shock. And it was just, yeah, it was just um, devastating. And so that's when my husband and I both said, we need to get serious because this is actually about our health, not about how you look in a bikini. And so um, can I tell them? Even though that's good. Can I tell them my result? Of course you can. Okay. Um, So after doing super fast diet for about about six months yeah, it wasn't that months. long yeah. um and i was was i 13 kilos down no maybe i was maybe it was eight or nine kilos down i went back to the same doctor had my blood test done again no longer diabetic i know that I'm i had reversed it best news of that all. isn't it unbelievable it my unbelievable. doctor How actually did that? a happy dance yeah she stood up in her chair and did a happy dance i don't blame yeah, her yeah, dr was penny was saying that last Amazing. night she said it's so exciting as a gp yeah. when you see somebody go through yeah. this weight loss journey and they do something like that with their health yeah. it's phenomenal yeah. that's awesome christine hi christine. hi christine hi christine my issue was not food but i was drinking wine or oh, uh, yeah. you sister when i'm happy or sad, or sad. <laughs> <laughs> this week now that i've committed i don't feel like a drink great well done. that's normally hard because i sell can i have the document i normally i sell it I sell and i work it. from oh, home right ah well that is tricky that is tricky and well done yeah. i mean mm. i i I'm happy to share with you guys because I think, you know, brutal honesty is the mm. best way to go. Um, I had a complete meltdown last night, crying, oh. floods of tears, purely because I just have too much work on. Now, yeah. it's all good work, so it's yes. like it's a great problem to have, but I was just feeling really overwhelmed. I was doing a fast day and my husband came home and he saw me, like I was crying as I was tapping away at the computer, just, I've got too much to do. And he was walked downstairs opened a bottle of red wine, poured a glass and brought it up to my desk. And I'm like, I can't, I'm fasting. He said, no, let's just make it a part day fast because he knows all the lingo as well. <laughs> He's well trained that And boy. he was, it was really good actually. So I actually don't mind. Sometimes you've got to be kind to yourself. Yeah. And what I'm doing at the moment is a little bit crazy because it's the Logies. But I ended up 
in that day, I still only had a thousand calories. So I wasn't feeling like I just went, screw it, screw the top open, down we go. Yeah. I, I think that you can need to be kind to yourself as well. Mm. So mm. sometimes you have to be really strict and sometimes you just have to be okay to go, I'm not going to be really bad, but I'm not going to be really, really good today. And that's why it's unbreakable because you can. Yeah. Um, I mean, you only had a thousand calories. That's really like a three day. Exactly. Yes, it's like the part yeah. time. Yeah. 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 yeah part so day. Actually, day. when you reduce your weight and you're not eating as much, you don't need as much wine. No, I know. <laughs> it goes like I one know. glass of anybody's. That is hilarious. Actually, I want to be careful at the logies. Actually, yeah, I don't want to yeah. be vomiting in a pot plant or. Pushing Don't over a Stepanovic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have, hi ladies, so lonely to see you all together. I wanted to ask Shelly, oh. how have you found the emotional side of weight loss in terms mm. of your own self-talk and body image? And did it take your mind a little while to catch up to the new you? Yes. Good question. Yes, yes. it did. Mm. Um, it was actually a little bit of a roadblock that I had because... Mm. I'd lost the 13 kilos and I was still wearing size 16. Mm. And I actually went into David Jones to buy some jeans and I fitted into size 12. Oh, wow. And we haven't heard this story. Yeah. yeah. So it was so actually cool. pretty amazing. And it was only because the shop assistant went, because I automatically picked up the 16s. Yeah. And she's like, no, 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 that'll be way too big for you. And wow. so, yeah, getting down to a size 12, my brain was still telling me I was a 16. Mm, yep. So yeah. I think that that's really interesting. And sometimes it's good to get someone else's point of view mm. on how you're looking. So... I really quite like speaking to the shop assistants and stuff like that and getting their advice. Um, and I think the other thing that I'd like to talk to you about is that mindset where I've just become kinder to myself. Mm. So at first I had set myself the goal of losing 20 kilos, but I kind of also found that once I, I think your body does settle into certain weights, and I settled into this 13 kilo mark that I was maintaining really easily. Yeah. And to then lose more was really hard work again. And I actually went, I'm actually pretty happy with 13. 13 has made a massive health difference for me. Mm. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. I might change my mind again. And, you know, coming up to summer, I want to give it another red hot go. But I also think that sometimes it's okay to go... This is this is a this. really happy weight for me, and it, yeah. it doesn't feel like work for me. And I mm, think that's yeah. the heart, the thing. When I'm really trying to lose more, then I'm really concentrating mm. and planning. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy, um, just sort of cruising along. And for me, that's when it does become a way of life. Well, you yes. look amazing. Yeah, you I look feel amazing. So good. You I feel well. good. Yes. There's a question from Tracy. Hi, Hi Tracy. Tracy. Love that we can be in a safe place together. Yes. So Fellow amazing. Kingaroy girl, <laughs> hi. Wow. You are so amazing and inspirational. Thank you for being so honest. Vic and Jen, thank you for saving so oh, many of it. Saving. Oh, that's such a lovely That's so beautiful, lovely Tracy. Thank you. Thank you for saying. It's gorgeous. I, I probably no know idea. Tracy. I wonder if it's Tracy oh. Reinbot or Tra I wonder who oh. Tracy is. Oh. <laughs> Kingaroy is very small. It's only yeah. like a, you know, when I was growing up in Kingaroy, I think the population was only thousand or something so yeah. and that included all the farms probably only about eight tracy's probably probably <laughs> we've got someone else here belinda i'm belinda. on metformin and mm -hmm. insulin resistant me too yep. and struggle to drop the weight i really need guidance on what to eat i'm finding it difficult to find the food you say you can eat on two days and 500 calories i only eat from 12 p.m and i need easy normal food Totally get it, Belinda. So yeah. I'm still on metformin. Even though I'm no longer diabetic, my doctor said I'll probably be on metformin for the rest of my life because just to be just, it's just what mm. it is. Mm -hmm. And I have polycystic ovary syndrome, which makes you very um, insulin resistant. So I totally understand where you're coming from. Can I tell you, as someone who has really struggled with um, weight loss, particularly with insulin resistance, because... It's a medical fact that insulin resistant makes it harder to lose weight. Yeah. This one works. Yeah. So the fasting, there's something about the fasting that just really works with the insulin. Um, I don't know the science. I know you guys have got all of that background. Yeah. But um, it's. I just want to really encourage you to give this a red hot go. 
if you're struggling with some of the foods, I don't like to cook. Like it's just not one of my skills and I am so freaking busy. I just need easy options. Mm. So that's why. So when I'm saying things like pho, I've never in my life tried pho before. And it's only through doing super fast diet that I'm like, what are some quick and easy foods? But um, it's in Coles and Woolies. It's in Coles and Woolies, so it's actually quite yeah. available. Mm. I would say go for as many things that you can that it's going to make it easy for you mm. yes. and easy to stick for you. And if and when I was first doing it, I did things like I measured out my eight almonds and put them in a little snap lock bag, you know, yeah. stuff like that, so that you just, until you start to learn what's about right and what's not, you really need to kind of be really strict with yourself mm. and it's okay that's called learning so you're learning a new way of eating and basically you've got to do the hard work first and then it becomes so much easier so i totally understand but please 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 really try and stick to this because the fasting has such an incredible incredible reaction with the insulin resistance and i see the scales move now i would be on you know a calorie counting diet where it's you know 1800 calories a day for seven days and all that sort of stuff and i would lose 200 grams mm. and i would be so devastated because i have worked so hard for seven days whereas with super fast diet i'm actually seeing the scales move every day sometimes Amazing. it goes up sometimes it goes down but i'm seeing it move so i mm. know that this made my body more reactive and sure. that has been incredibly motivating for me mm. That's, that's awesome. for sure. And we do have sample meal plans. So what we have for you now mm -hmm. is a 14-day free trial. Yeah. So free? You can yeah. join Super, super Fast free Diet, diet. for yeah. $0. Super <laughs> free diet. That's what we should have called that. Super free diet. That's awesome. <laughs> and it's ending soon. So jump on. The entire program is unlocked for you for two whole weeks free of charge. So you can see all those meal plans and ideas yeah. and recipes and, and our Happy's beautiful videos. videos. Lots of the videos motivation. with Shelly. So many videos. Shelly's gone through I know, but program. okay, here's the thing. We've done Shelley. all the videos when I'd lost 13 kilos. Now I've lost 15. We're going to do all the videos again. Redo them, right? <laughs> all of them. No problem. <laughs> hey, there's a question. Keep those questions coming. And of yeah. course, we are going to be giving you the, the best question tonight, uh, tonight is going to get this free magazine. And it's amazing. And that's got lots of menu plans and things in it too. Yeah. It's just really good. Recipes. So that Hi, Julia. Nice to see you. I usually have a coffee in the morning and make myself eat at 11.30ish. Then I'll eat something and that makes me hungry and wanting to eat. Yeah. It's crazy because mm. I'm really not hungry. Well, that is so true. It's actually mm. true. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Dr. Penny talks a lot about that. So if you want to watch our replay um, from last night's Facebook Live, Dr. Penny actually talks about the science of not eating breakfast. And she says, whether you eat breakfast or not, you'll still be the same amount of hungry at lunchtime. That's right. So if you do without eating breakfast, you'll skip those calories mm. and you don't need it. Yeah. It was Dr. Kellogg who said eat breakfast. Mm. Bloody marketing. Different if you're a child, mm. you're a school kid. Of course. Yeah, you need your breakfast. Talking to Megan today too, she was yes. saying that she has her coffee in the morning yeah. and then she looks forward to having that coffee in the afternoon and that's what get, that takes her like 45 minutes to sort of sip that hot drink, right. including um, broths, yes. bone mm. broths. So yeah. that's another alternative for you to get through that period rather than having a meal, mm -hmm. which will make you hungrier. Um, can I say one other little trick that yeah. I've done? And it was because of the Superfast Diet um, Facebook group, but yeah. there is a hot chocolate that's completely sugar-free. It's flavoured with stevia, and it's only 10 calories for two teaspoons Ooh. of hot chocolate. So I've been having a mocha. Oh, that's And it's awesome. delicious. Yeah. So it's like I have my macchiato with that in it. I don't put any milk in. it's called? It's something like armor or something, but it was okay. in the same section that all the other hot chocolates are, like your Jarrah mm. and stuff like that. It's a tin, mm. and have a look. It's, it's like a hundred percent sugar free. Wow! And cool. um, yeah, ten calories. That's Brilliant. amazing. That's why it's really important to read the labels to compare. Absolutely, it varies mm. so much. How many calories are in different ones? Yeah, we've yeah. got a question from Catherine. On the hey, off Catherine. days when you're not fasting, do you count the calories? When I was losing the weight at first, yes, yeah. because 
I was, I'm a bit embarrassed to say how little I knew about calories because you and I everybody just, else, to yeah. be honest, people don't know. Mm. I was just like hoeing into the cheese and thinking yeah. it was all fine. So I did count the calories and I use a calorie app on my phone, which I found kept me honest. Mm. Um, which one do you use? I use the um, My Net Diary. Mm -hmm. yep. That's my favorite. And, and the thing is, sometimes like I'll do follow my fast on Instagram and people go, oh, but you're... Your say that's 120 calories, but mine says it's 140. And I'm like, I'm just going to stick okay. to mine and <laughs> yeah. keep it at that. So yeah. I'm not going to drive myself crazy. No. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I I don't now on my on my feast days. But if I am making a conscious effort to kickstart a little bit more weight loss, then I do. Mm. Because I find that it's, even though you can go up to 2,000 calories, I can't go up to 2,000 anymore because I've lost the weight, even on my... These days, it's only supposed to be about 1,400, which is not that much. Yeah. Um, so it's very, very easy for me to go over. But again, that comes down to planning. So um, at first, just be a bit regimented. Mm. Mm. And you're not Keep as hungry those likes and you've lost some weight, are yeah. you? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I think that and you, you can play with it because you can have more on one day and less on another. Yeah, day, I think yeah. the whole thing. And, and I'm also finding my taste buds are changing. So yes. I'm like very out and proud about how much I love chocolate. I really do. And one of my big tips is if you get a caramel koala and you put it in the freezer, <laughs> then you just suck it. And it takes mm. about half an hour of just sucking and sucking. My husband is just like gone in two chomps and he has not appreciated that chocolate <laughs> at all. No. <laughs> However, before we did super fast diet, we would not have a caramello. We would have a family block of like Cadbury popping rock chocolate, which is, mm. we have the taste buds of like six year old kids. Um, recently, we didn't have any caramellos and my husband just went up to the store and said, uh, he said, oh, I'll get some Popping Rock. I didn't even like it. Oh, it was too sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not going to lie about shit like this, Ooh, stuff like this. <laughs> I'm telling you, it had changed. Yeah. And that was a huge shock to me because mm. we used to eat like blocks of chocolate like that all the time. Mm. So kind of nice though. Yeah, yeah it's because it's you've mm. really reduced mm. your sugar intake. But you still allow yourself the treat, which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Don't forget to like and even send us some love if you like. <laughs> I need some love hearts. Come on. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> Okay, Tammy. Hi, I've Tammy. been so Hi, inspired Tammy. by you, Shelley. Aw, thanks. Aww. I even bought a Lena Broughton dress. Aww. Oh, my God. Aww. That's amazing. I, it's actually <laughs> Lena. I've got to remember to say her name properly. Lena has been such an incredible supporter of mine for so many years. And the great thing about Lena's dresses is they're so flattering for curvy girls. And what I find is you can, like, have the wrap or whatever. So you might be a size 16 and then you can make it into a 14, make it into a, a 12. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really pleased that you are wearing one of her dresses. They always make me feel so happy. Yeah, and yeah. I love it too because she is a young businesswoman um, based on the Gold Coast who's just giving it a go. Gorgeous. Yeah. I Gorgeous. love support. Women supporting women. For yeah. sure. All and these I questions think are coming you in always now. look beautiful in what you wear. Yes. And I think that's quite genius, actually, to, to wear the yeah. stretchy wrap round I'm, dresses. You know, I don't like down. my belly. And I think everyone's yeah. got their thing. And so the wrap dresses or the dresses with a bit of stretch just make me feel happier because I'm not yeah. worried about anything. Yeah. And I got massive cans, right? So <laughs> I've had them since primary school. They are just ridiculous. Um, but it is one of those things that I'm okay with, like, showing some cleavage because the more they're looking at my boobs, they're not going to be looking at my belly. Awesome. Ta-da! <laughs> Shiny, have, pretty things. don't have a belly stretch. anymore anyway. <laughs> and they are and that's one of the... Things okay. that's happened, hasn't it? The weight has come off your tummy. Yes. Yeah, that's so that exciting. was something. Actually, um, the girl who was asking about the insulin resistance. So that was another thing where I had lost some weight, but I hadn't really mentally realized how much, and I hadn't changed my clothes size. Mm -hmm. And then I'd, I'd been sitting on 13 kilos for a while, and I'm just like getting a bit frustrated that it wasn't going down and didn't wasn't great for my motivation and then I think it was you guys said well have you done your measurements mm. and I hadn't so I finally got the tape measure out and I have lost 18 centimeters off my waist that's it's unbelievable like, it's like is that 18 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe it's amazing incredible if yeah. you think about how many notches in your belt you yes. go down for 18 centimeters Huge. um 
I've also lost four of my boobs. Boobs are That's never okay. going to go. Like had plenty to Some spare. people lose weight and they lose it straight off their boobs. These suckers, I grew them myself. They're real, but they just don't move. We don't um, feel sorry for you. And I know. I, there's plenty of flat-chested girls out there. I'm like, can we just go halves? Like, yeah. I'll give you half because I still like them. Um, yeah. And I've lost eight centimetres off my hip. So that's quite substantial Fabulous. as well. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Hi, Julie. I Hi, Julie. have just Hi, had Julie. surgery on my back last week. Uh. I hope you're okay. Oh. I weighed myself and I put 2.6 kilos on in a week. I'm beside myself. Is this because of the drugs and anesthetic? Yes. And it'll drop back down that I'm home and back on the program. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gosh, it's the fluid retention. Yeah, and also just I think yeah. when your body is stressed and healing yes. itself, it mm. holds weight for a bit. Yeah. Once you're not in pain, I'm sure it will drop. I've definitely yeah. found that with me. I've had back surgery myself. And I also want to say to you, take care of yourself. Because yeah. you need to make sure you rest so that you don't have problems down the track. So mm. don't be too harsh on yourself and don't be sad that you've put on some weight. Your body's dealing with some really big issues at the moment sure. and it's sending a lot of healing to your back. So make sure you get that right. And trust me, once you get back on track, it drops off. Yes. And it, it shocks me how quickly it drops off. Yeah. And it, it's something about those, as I said, those weights that you get to, your body almost wants to get back to it. Of course. Yeah. So I, I feel really confident that you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a doctor or anything. Yeah, but, but think about the swelling. I mean, yeah. it makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's your sure. body healing. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. Katrina asked where she can buy the Superfast Diet magazine. We will put a link on for you. Yeah. And of Good course, question. a lucky person will get this one tonight because mm. they've asked a fantastic question. Yeah, so keep those questions <laughs> coming. Good evening, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, Hi Helen. Helen. I should wish I was there. We wish oh, you were Helen. here. Too. Hi. We wish you were here. It'd be so yeah. much fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for time, commenting. <laughs> and Joe, to be brutal, be brutal, Shelley. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I brutal is brutal. good to hear sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. Yeah, it makes I think feel real for all of us. And Shelley was the is the first one to be completely honest. When we, how about we just get some honesty here? Mm. How was your first fast day, Shelley? What was that foot word? <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. Yeah. I hated it so much. I was almost in tears. I had Aww. headaches. It was horrible. Mm. But I was really motivated. So yeah. I got through it and then, oh my God, I had the best breakfast the next day. Yeah. So it was all about, for me, quite a mental battle. Um, and that's the other thing too, is like, I think it would be ridiculous if, uh, if you know the person who is an ambassador for super fast diet was a size six mm. because that's not every woman I feel mm. like I'm kind of the every woman I have struggled I you know sometimes just face plant into a bowl of ice cream Don't like it's yeah. it's I'm I'm trying to be real so that you guys don't have any false expectations mm. but also so you don't feel like um, you're failing alone or anything like that. It's yeah. like, I have failed. I have fast fails and then I just pick myself back up again and I get back on board and it's really worked for me and I would not recommend anything like this. I, you know, people who know me or follow me on Insta and stuff like that, I don't push products. I do not do things no. like that um, unless it's truly something that feels authentic to me mm. and I feel with this that it's really something, that's what like I said about the Facebook group, it's, we've got our little girl gang yeah, <laughs> and I really beautiful. like it and it's really supportive yeah. and I love women supporting women and so I think brutal honesty is the only way to go. Absolutely. <laughs> we're the same. We'll only tell you products that have been working for us. Yeah. Yes. So we're not promoting the products. No. We're just telling you what's We working. don't get any kickbacks from no. any of those But products, I want you to so. know that I'm going to give you a few tips about how to socialise when you're fasting Ooh. coming up. Yeah, we're going to talk so, about that in yeah. a second. Because I'm pretty around. social. Hang around. But if you have any questions, as I said, brutal, honest answers will be coming your way. Yes. So please just tap them in straight this away. This is your opportunity. I remember once you did a segment about poo. <laughs> of course I did. Didn't you? <laughs> you talking about my things you can't talk about on TV? Yeah. yeah, yeah you I know. love that. I'll go to shellshockedmedia. Shellshockedmedia.com. There's have even an entire, there's three so cool. videos called Fun with Farts. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal honesty, people. Love it. Look, here's Lynette. Lynette's saying, Hi, ladies. What keeps you all motivated? 
Okay. Great question. That's a really good question. I like that one. For yeah. me, it's yeah. the results. Like yeah. the fact and that I've kept this weight off for a year now. Mm. Like, yeah, so I haven't tremendous. yo-yoed. I haven't like the fact that it's been consistent and that has never happened to me before. Okay. And this is the first time I can actually say it's a way of life. Yeah. And I I mean I still use the word diet, but I I hate that word, but it it really is one of those things that I'm now, you know, this is just what I do and I know it works for me and I know my body likes it. Mm. It's like mm. I've finally found the thing that my body gets and I get results with it. So, mm. yeah, I'm pretty that's my motivation. Mm. That's yours, Vic. Yeah, I for me, I feel like I don't have to worry about my weight anymore. Mm. That worry has gone. I can go on holidays and I can put on five kilos in two weeks. I did that on a yeah. wow. Mediterranean cruise. Or you can eat buffets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they lost, lost their wine. money on her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But when I get fat, it doesn't worry me because I yeah. know I can get it off. Yeah. Easy, because I know what to do now. So mm. I never have to worry about my weight again. It's a way of life. Yeah. And I just feel like I've nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And what motivates me is getting up in the morning and putting on clothes, and I love getting dressed. Yeah. Mm. For mm. the first time ever, mm. you know. Mm. Love it. What about Fantastic. you, Jen? I think for me, it's because it's so doable. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't have to go, I don't have to feel deprived. That's, yes. That's what it is. It's, it's just that I know I can have my glass of wine, mm. I can have my flake chocolates, I can yeah. have everything that I want and still I mean I've lost 30, over 30 kilos and yeah. what's your number now now I'm down to 53 kilos no 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 so how many lost sorry um, what's that? a bit more probably um 32 32 yeah. kilos yeah, oh my lot, god that is I know. amazing I know. amazing I know that's yeah. like a toddler <laughs> You know, even even when I pick wow. up a, like a sack of like a, a kilo of potatoes, yeah. I think Good, that was yeah. thirty two of those. Thirty two of those. That's, that's no wonder I had a broken knee. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. she did all that with a broken knee without any exercise. Yeah, yeah, just by doing intermittent mm. fasting. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to go into the next topic now. Um, and while we're talking, we've got some questions. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Can you design an app that has our portal on it for ease of access? That's such mm. a great idea, and that is in the in plan. The plan. Oh, good. <laughs> I want that too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. So stay tuned. Okay. So now, as I said, a couple of tips for what to do when you're fasting and socializing. Any yes. of you guys who follow me, you know, I am out a lot, yeah. and sometimes it's really hard because the options are not there if you're sure. at a party and it's canapes or things like that. So, first things first, don't go out on a fast day. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> it's too it. hard. Like, yeah. I actually choose to stay home on my fast days because, and that's why I always make it a Monday. Mm. No one's having a party on a Monday night. Exactly. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, so I'm normally Monday, Wednesday. This week I'm doing Monday, Wednesday and Friday because it's Logies on Sunday. <laughs> um, but what I also do, some for the days where it's not a fast day, but you're still maybe wanting to restrict your calories, maybe you're doing part day, or maybe you're just wanting to have a bit less, I actually have my dinner before I go out. Yeah, it's a great idea. And that way you're not hungry. Yeah. Mm. The other thing, because wine is important to me, <laughs> very important to me, so I actually, before I even go out, or if I know I'm going out that night, I put four wines in the calorie counter and Perfect. go that that's going to be there so yeah. i will now eat around what else is less eat around the cal- wine yeah like seriously so oh. if that means that i'm just going to have like veggies for for lunch so be it the wine's more important to me yeah so that sort of thing is just like a little bit of planning the yeah. other thing you can do is um when you are out and, and i'm talking about even if you're like at a wedding or you know when there's just like fried food coming around yeah i just never say yes to the fried food and you know the thing is you don't actually need it but most people now are actually still doing some healthier options so there'll be those amazing peeled prawns Mm. just don't dunk it in the aioli you know Mm. just things like that that will really fill you up sashimi sushi when they have you know vegetable sticks just choose all of those options and the thing is for me when i'm socializing the wine's the most important thing the food's not so you know just have the wine pick pick one or the other I know Jamie Rose Chambers, who's our nutritionist, she says pick the wine 
or the dessert. That's yeah. Yeah, that was a really good both. idea. Yeah. But if you're going to a dinner party, here's another oh, yeah. hot tip. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm going to a dinner party, I don't expect my friends to put on everything mm. because it's expensive. So sure. often it'll be like, you bring entree, someone bring dessert. I always offer to bring dessert, not mm. because I'm great at making desserts, but because I can make a healthier option. One of my absolute favorites, which is very low in calories, and it sounds a bit weird, but trust me, try it. Just get fresh strawberries, clean them, you know, chop the stalks off, and then sp- splash on <laughs> balsamic vinegar, mm. which is, you know, nothing. And then just serve it with some, um, what's the Oh, cheese? the mascarpone. Mascarpone cheese. Yeah. So mm. what I then do is make sure that I only have a small serve of the mascarpone, but that is a sweet treat. Mm. And what I have found is most people appreciate just having a sweet taste at the end, but it doesn't have to be a triple layer chocolate cake. So that's been yeah, something um, that I, I've, you know, just adopted tip. adopted mm. in. Mm. That's an mm. awesome tip. Mm. I love that. Brilliant idea. Hi, Hi Kristen. Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Nice to see you. I love you, ladies. Oh, oh thank oh, you. Kristen. Such Kristen. inspiration and so much support within the group. It's truly a new way of life. Oh, it's really nice. Hearts huh? to thank you. you. Yeah, thank really you. nice. Thank oh. you for sharing that. Don't, keep the questions coming because somebody, the best question tonight is going to get our gorgeous magazine. And if you want to buy the magazine, we'll put the link on for you too. Fantastic. And, and Gaylene, Gaylene has got another question. Hi, Gaylene. Yeah. Hi. Hi. The best motivation for me is going shopping for new clothes. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Hashtag shopaholic. Oh, we can so relate that's, to that. That's where you go for you. If you want to go for a walk, yeah. right? Yeah. Go for a walk around the mall and look at all the yeah. clothes that you're going to fit into. And what's so awesome is you don't have to shop in old ladies' clothes anymore. I know. Isn't it you great? You can go to witchery and she Seriously, and like I, I remember and, having a few yeah. tears going through a shopping centre because I couldn't because I was a size 16 and there were so many labels mm. that didn't go to a size 16 mm, yeah. and I was so angry mm. and I swore to myself that when I lost the weight I would not shop at those stores yeah. even though I could fit into them mm. just because I just didn't like that they weren't supporting all sizes mm. but I certainly have that um, pleasant surprise when you put on something that's a, a smaller number than you expected yes can I just also throw in one tip so when you Thank are you. um shopping for new clothes after you've lost some weight i just want you to take one step back get your new spanks get your new bras when you have your foundation garments foundation (laughs) garments i sound 80 but (laughs) i found that i was still wearing spanks that was for a size 16 person Mm. but so it wasn't actually sucking me in that much and i had to go down a couple of sizes and then i felt all sucked in and great Mm. Then, even if you don't buy too many new clothes, the clothes you're wearing are going to look nicer too. That's and I, and I have, um, even though I haven't lost much of my boobs, I actually went down a cup size. Yeah. So, sorry, not a cup size, a back, a back size. size. Yeah. Yeah, so, all of that really makes a difference on how I think the clothes look on you. Definitely, that's, that's so such true. That's great, great advice. Yeah. Yeah. I remember my Spanx and they were loose. Yeah, yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thirty-two kilos. We <laughs> are such big fans of Spanx. Oh yeah, yeah we yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know any woman who doesn't. You can wear really slinky dress if you've got yeah, the right yeah. underwear. Yeah. Sometimes I double Spanx. And because oh, can. yeah, double Spanx. Double Spanx. Wow. Before. Yeah, so I might put on the ones that are like bike short ones, and then the tube one over. Oh top. yeah, I've done that. Uh, brilliant. Yeah. Awesome. Suck it <laughs> in, <laughs> babe. Love it. Hi okay. Helen. Hi Helen. Hi Helen. Hi guys, thanks to you all, you inspiring. Oh. Been on the program for two months. The first month was great and lost two kilos. Excellent. Well done. Done. Then I got flu and had a fall. Oh, yeah. that's no good. So she's been sick for a month. All good now, but need motivation. Sure. We well, hopefully it. we've motivated yeah. you tonight. But I mean, also, you know what the motivation is? Remember yeah. that first month when yeah. you lost two kilos. Just exactly. go back to feeling and, yeah. and thinking about that because it works. And mm. that's the thing. I mean... Two kilos is a lot of weight. So, mm. like, that makes a big difference to you. So, just think about how you felt when you started and just jump back into that mindset. Mm. Awesome. And the other thing is, don't forget on the website, because we've got 14 days free. So, whether you're a member or not, you've got a, the opportunity now to go onto our website and have access to our library. And in our library, we've got Dr. Um, Happy's videos, which mm. are fantastic. So, it's the best motivation you're going to get. Good yeah. Idea. Go watch the video. Watch the video. And he does, yeah. he has one of his, my favorite videos with him is all about finding your why. So oh, why you so lose, good. why do you want to lose mm. the weight? Because 
making sure that you have the right goals and making them very cemented in your head really helps. Mm. Yeah, I had my Lisa Ho dress hanging there yes. that I wanted to get back into. Mm. And um, of course, every so often, I was saying to Megan today, every so often I'd you know, try it on to see if the zipper would go yeah. up. And then one day, I was so excited, the zipper went all the way up. Mm. And I remember I rang Vicky and I said, oh my God, <laughs> look, guess what happened? Yay. Yeah. So things and like I had that. a similar dress. It was a pink sequin Peter Morrissey, really, really tight dress that I hadn't been in for something like 15 years. And exactly the same thing. And I hang it up where I could see it yeah. all the time. And that really motivated me. And yet the day I got in, it was like, oh, did it, did it, did it. Did it. Do you have a particular outfit? I haven't actually rewarded myself with the outfit <gasps> yet. Ooh. I actually set this goal when I started in May last year that I wanted to have a pair of pleather because I don't really want leather but like leather pants now oh yeah mm. there's like the plastic leather, good. Um, leather pants. and I really do want I them. them I really do want them and I don't I don't I think there's a bit of a, a roadblock for me about getting them mm. oh that's maybe, maybe work on that with you. Yeah, yeah I know maybe I'll have to uh get them and do a post on the Facebook page yeah. or something well you yeah. know that actually Vicky went through the pleather yeah I because did. remember why don't you tell the story of what happened yeah remember, I remember you texting and saying yeah. do you I think? thought there were black leather um trousers on sale at Kukai and I saw the picture and I put it on my Facebook am I too old to wear these trousers seriously oh, no. look yeah. it up 99 99 <laughs> out of 100 said go for it there so was hot. one person said yes no leather trousers on anyone over 30 oh but shut she up shouted down shut so I went and up. bought them and I love them. You love them? That's the thing. I don't believe in any hot. of those rules because it's about how you feel. Yeah. And if you're feeling happy and proud of yourself, you're going to have a bit of swagger as well. And yes. you, is that's the way you wear it. It's the way you carry it on. For mm. sure. We've got a question from Jace. Hi, Jace. With Hi, a Jace. C. Is it Jace? Jace. Um, yeah. What calorie counter do you use? I have my favorite, which is my net diary. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people use my fitness pal. Yep. Um, yep. Some people, you just Google, don't you? I just Google. She just Google. Because I just look at, look at the, a couple of them and I work out an average. Mm. And I mm. like Calorie King. But mm. there's lots of them. Yeah, there's so many. Just and I really friend. don't think one's better than the other. It's just yeah. what suits you. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we've got a question from Catherine. Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Fasting days are fine. Part day fasting, others worry about putting it back on so I keep restricting all the time don't restrict all the time hun mm. no that's not what it's about and I think it's also your body actually likes a bit of the feast and famine and yeah. that's when you get results yes. so it's surprising and I yeah. think I think it's good for your for you mentally to not feel like you are being restrictive all the time and that's what's unbreakable about exactly. super fast diet mm. and right. also you can flip around so some some weeks you might do the two days of fasting. Some yep. day some weeks you might do part fasting. Sometimes you might do the three days. Yeah, it's up to you. Mix it around and just find out what suits you. Yeah, but don't. I just really don't like hearing that panic, that worry about the weight coming back on. I think it's actually about getting a bit of body trust mm. and trusting that your body will fall into line mm. when you do this eating plan. And well, that's, that's why, why we call it part time as well. Yeah. yeah. Because that's why this works mm. is because that you only have to do this some of the time. If you're trying to combine methods and you've just started out and you're trying to do part day and two day and three day, then I yeah. would not um, do that. No. no. Yeah. If the Be weight's going to come off. Be kind yeah. to yourself. Um, yeah. I've got a question from Katrina. Hi, Shelley, Katrina. did or do you exercise? If so, what do you do? <laughs> So, here's the thing. Brutal truth. Um, I used to go to the gym and absolutely flog myself in mm. spin classes and weight classes. Mm. And it did not make a huge impact on my weight. And I think I was doing it to be mean to myself. Like, mm. I had Ben and Jerry's. I've got to go and do the spin class. You know, it was a bit of a nasty cycle. What I have found, it's what goes in your mouth. And I, I actually liked, I think Shannon said to me, you can't outrun the calories or you can't it, outrun a bad diet. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's that's, that's a great really, really yeah. worked for me. So mm. the only thing I do um, is I walk my dog. So I have a very Mr. very Barclay. cute Gorgeous Mr. Barkley. Have and a look on Instagram. Yeah, he is the best. And <laughs> we don't have it. We have an apartment, so he has to be walked three to four times a day. And I'm really using that as just 
a mental health break and a bit of incidental exercise. I'm not huffy puffy. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I've been doing a bit of the cross trainer, but that's mm. also because I got the logies on yes, Sunday. Yes. So, you know, do what works for you. But for me, it wasn't really about the exercise. The exercise for me was about being mentally happy rather than being mean to myself. Yeah, good yeah. tip. That's if you can get tip. out and have a walk, that'll make you feel better, but you don't have to exercise. It will still work for yeah, you. That's right. There's another question from Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. How do you stick with the program when other things aren't going well in your life, mm. e.g. losing your job and you don't have the energy to eat well? We get it. That's totally get life it. Happens. Life happens. Life happens. It to does. all of us. That's yeah, one of everyone. the biggest things we've I mean, learnt. I was saying just before, like I was in mm. floods of tears last That's night. Right. So yeah. it's yeah. it's not, you're not alone, you know. I think the great thing is, if you can, you know, get on the program and join the Facebook group, you'll have that support and friendship from other people, mm. which I think if you're feeling a bit low, it's such a lovely place to be and everyone's so encouraging. Um, but I also, you know, I, I would just say it's up to you to decide when to do it. So make sure that it's the right time for you and don't be too hard on yourself. And mm. something like losing your job is a huge blow, mm. but I have every confidence that it means that a better job's around the corner for you. Absolutely. I'll give and you a tip here too. Yeah. Sorry. I know what um, you're going to say. You're probably going to ask me to say it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's awesome. Yeah. Well, the thing is for me is that obviously life happens to all of us and every day something's something's going on so when I was losing weight what I what I realized was that no matter what was going on in my life there was one great thing that was happening mm. I was losing weight right so regardless of what's going on in your life this thing will be going well for you mm. yes so mm. something's going so that's well. the positive yeah that's so you've got true. control over something is the yeah. Point. yeah brilliant hi kate hi kate i'm 46 you're just a baby next <laughs> week i'm feeling chicken. better than i did at 40 that is Yay. awesome well, well done. done that is awesome that's awesome Yay. kate well i think we feel better um like we're in our 50s vicky and i um, not gorgeous young Shelly over I'm here. I'm 44. She's, I'm happy she's a, over that. She's a chicky bay. Turning 45. <laughs> happy. Um, I feel better now than when I did than when I was in my 30s. Yeah, me too. Honestly, mm. I, feel, I feel more energetic, mm. and mm. not from exercise, from doing in, intermittent fasting, clearer in my mind, um, and more motivated. Well, I can wear black skinny jeans now, and I couldn't do that when I was at university. Wow. wow. My bottom was too big. That's amazing. I didn't feel confident enough. Yeah. Wow. So I feel better now than in my yeah. 20s. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now you've got a great tush. Thank I you. just think every year <laughs> just gets better and better. I honestly exactly. do. I yes, just, I agree. I love it. And we've got a 14 day free trial if you're not a member. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Jump on. We've got a free trial. This, Jump is, on. this is your opportunity. Exactly. And uh, keep the questions coming for Shelley because what an opportunity. She's yeah, so we're wrapping honest. up soon, yeah. so bring it on. Oh, whatever yeah. you want. Best question gets our magazine. Yes. We will be hanging around after we've stopped going live to answer your question. So even if your question doesn't get answered during the live, we will answer them. Yes. Barbara. Hi, Barbara. 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 I had lap band surgery approximately 10 years ago, oh. which has not been successful. Right. What do you think, why do you think this worked for you when others didn't? Yeah, I think question. that's really interesting. Mm, um, good question. I was so ashamed about the lap band not, not working. I didn't tell a soul. So there was like three people in my you know, family and friendship circle who knew about it. Mm. The more I speak about it, the more I hear from people like you saying, hey, it didn't work for me either. Mm. And I actually had a beautiful email from a woman when I spoke about it on today's show saying that her family had bullied her so much about it not working, saying that she must have been cheating and that she would had been suicidal. And after they'd seen me on today's show, they'd apologized to her. So oh. you know what? It's you haven't failed. It does not work for everyone. Mm. What I think, and I, I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but for me, there's something about the fasting that really works with that belly fat, mm. with the insulin resistance. And I think the other thing that has made me very aware of, like the whole time I had the lap band, I was hungry the whole time and mm. teary and miserable. I think by doing the intermittent fasting, I've learned what real hunger is and therefore it's a very different mindset. And I don't think I had that mindset with the lap band. Um, so please give it a go and, you, you know, what have you got to lose? Exactly the weight. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wobbly bits. <laughs> 
And for a change of pace, hi Michelle. Hi Michelle. What are your favourite low calorie alcoholic drinks? Okay. Hi. So for me, uh, one of my favourites in summer is an Aperol Spritz. Oh, I love I really love an Aperol Mm. Spritz because you get quite a strong orange flavour. And what I do is I... So it's an Aperol Spritz is Aperol, Prosecco and soda water. But what I do is I just do Aperol, a splash of Prosecco and mainly soda water. So that cuts out a lot of calories that way. Mm, I do not like vodka, lime and soda. I do not understand these people who go like, just have vodka, lime and soda. It tastes horrible. I don't like it either. So for me, that's not a reward. Like I'd rather not drink than have vodka, lime and soda. So the other thing is I don't don't order creamy cocktails or anything. Mm. But I just have the wine that I really like. Yeah. And what I also have been doing is ordering the wine you really want, which might be like a $14 glass versus a $10 glass. Yeah. Mm. But that $14 glass, it's going to be the one you really, really love every sip of. And to Perfect. me, that makes it so much worthwhile. Yeah. Yes. Life's too short for bad wine. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. So white wine, red wine, and champagne, they're all about the same. And they're all pretty low calorie. Um, it's around 90, 90 yeah. calories for a glass. But be exactly. aware, that's like a that's that a standard, drink. standard drink. Yes. Yes. I have a in the big wine glass. <laughs> yes. Half a bottle goes in easy. So I just have to be honest with myself and measure it. Yeah, yeah you do have point. to be aware of that. Good point. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. And alternate your wine with a glass of water in yeah. between. That and I like to have soda well. water or mineral water in between so it feels yeah. like I'm a bit bubbly and fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great I put ice in mine too sometimes on a, in a white wine. Yeah. Oh, mate, I'm from Queensland. I love white wine with ice. <laughs> it's the best. I, I love doing it too. And like the, you, you get this, this posh sommelier is appalled. And I'm like, dude, I'm paying for this wine. I'm going to have it whatever, whichever way I like. <laughs> It's really nice yeah. chilled and it makes yeah. it a bit more water in it. Yeah. So it, yeah. yeah. it draws it down a I like a, a gin with diet tonic as well. Diet tonic is such mm. a, I didn't even know tonic mm. was so high in calories. Mm. So And high it in really calories. is. It's actually a huge sugar fix. So yeah. make sure you get the diet tonic. It's in yeah. all of the, you know, supermarkets. And diet ginger ale, if you can. Yeah. Scotch and ginger a glass, ale. A glass yeah. of the tonic. And, I, and I'm a Pepsi Max girl, so sometimes yeah. I have a Scotch and Pepsi Max. Oh, oh no. you and Vicky are friends. <laughs> so good. So good. So good. <laughs> Hi, Alice and Mena. Hi, when Alice does the free Mena. trial end? It ends this Sunday, Sunday night, 11.59, to Jeez. be precise, midnight. Mm, exactly. <laughs> yeah. mm. Harry and Anna, how much does this cost? Well, it's free for 14 days, and then if you want to stay around, it's $10.80 per week. Which is just a really great rate yeah. right Mate. now, too. Cheap. Yeah, well, very. you save Cheapest that much by not chips. eating all the extra food. <laughs> I know. I know so right? Basically, you're making money by going on super fast diet. That's right. Um, I have one last really weird tip. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know I love the really weird tip. <laughs> so I have been working like crazy, and I think I've mentioned that a couple of times because I am going crazy. <laughs> but, um, and I've been a bit run down. So I started, I wanted to have a Barocca, not because I'm hungover, but just for energy and for vitamins. It's only eight calories awesome. for a Barocca. Now, I actually have that purposely on a fast day now because it feels like an orange fizzy drink, mm. but it's un, like it's negligible in your day. And that's something that I have found, like sometimes if you get sick of water, yeah, a Barocca. How about that? Barocca tip. tomorrow. I know, and Probably you can get the tropical ones and the berry ones. So, yeah. So keep the yeah, likes fantastic. and the loves and the smiley faces coming and any more questions. Because we're about to wrap we're up. We're about, about to wrap up. Just on that now. subject of Barocca, yeah. um, somebody on Facebook the other day asked about vitamin gummies. Yeah. There's yeah. 25 calories for every one of those. That's mm. crazy. That just shows you how important it is to make sure you check calories. Yeah, I yeah. know, because... I'm actually, I've, I'm sure in my heart I knew that because they taste good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, that can't be good for you. That's why it's not good so, to guesstimate. No. Yeah, no, you've got to read labels. Yeah. There's only a few days left too. We have a pop-up free Facebook group called June Jumpstart. We'll pop the link in the comments. Join in and have a look around. And we'd love to see you on the inside of our program. It's 14 days free right now. And jump in, chat to us all. We're all there to support you. Because we've had our our June Jumpstart free um, pop-up group going for a couple of weeks now. Mm -hmm. It's about to end. But you don't have to end because you can do 14 days now. That's exactly right. So don't miss out because this will end. And can I just take this moment to say... Thank you to both of you for introducing me to Superfast Diet, but also thank you 
to everyone on that super fast diet Facebook page and everyone who comments on my social media because I have really struggled with my weight for so long and I've always been very nervous about um, talking about it in case I fail and things like that but in fact I have found this super fast diet community has been like a big warm hug and I really love hearing when people say Shell, you were my inspiration. I saw how much weight you lost. You know, I can do it too. And it really, really has helped motivate me as well. So thank you. It works both ways. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. awesome, Shelly. Can Actually, Megan just talked say... about you today, didn't she? Yeah. Did that's you see right. that? No, no, I didn't see. Oh, she, she said that she was just in her bedroom and she was running in and out and she could see you on the telly. Yeah, right. And that's what inspired <laughs> her to, um, first yeah. of all, get the magazine. And then she said, now that's, that's it, I'm joining. Yeah. Now she's no, it's been, down. been a real We win want to win. thank you as well. Yeah. yeah. Of course. For my brutal honesty. Yeah, <laughs> brutal honesty. But you have bared your soul to, yeah. to everybody publicly, and that's not easy to do. No. And you have literally inspired thousands of people. That's yes. so amazing. So when you think about how many lives you have changed, I'm getting all emotional I know, now. I know, I like, know. And we just so make me emotional. It. I know. <laughs> no, it's honestly, so true. Honestly. So thank you. No, thank, it's thank been you great. for being so honest and so willing to share. And I'll keep on being honest. I'm telling painful. you. It can be really painful. Yeah, it can. And particularly when you are public and we have trolls and we have yeah. people who, you know, want to air their opinion mm. at you. And and sometimes I'm really strong and, and it's water off a duck's back. And then sometimes it just gets under my skin yeah. and I, I need people to realize just because I'm TV doesn't mean that I'm not feeling things and I'm not human. Yeah. Um, so, but that's what works as well. When you are giving me that positive reinforcement, it boosts me up yeah. and it makes me feel proud of what I've done and happy that I'm helping other people. Yeah, it's oh, beautiful. That's yeah. fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to so, be ending very soon. Yes. yes. So um, we will stay live to answer your, uh, sorry, we will be going in a minute, but we will answer, <laughs> we're not going to stay live. <laughs> We're going to be answering all of your questions, though. Yeah. So if yes. you, so keep them coming Any other through. questions, just We'll answer every going. single one of them. So now, now's your opportunity to ask Shelley or us anything you would anything. like. Anything. Anything. Even about poo. Poo and farts. Nothing, <laughs> nothing's <laughs> off limits. Seriously. <laughs> so join us for our final Facebook Live for this week, tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Last one of the week. We've That's had a fantastic it. week with our lives this yeah. week. Yeah. So much fun. So and the good thing is you know you can watch them later. So yeah. it's yeah. not like they don't disappear. You won't miss out. Exactly. Don't forget the 14-day free trial if you're not yet a member. Join now's us. Get, get the whole the program unlocked. And we're going to say goodbye for now. So mm -hmm. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.